It can take a very long time indeed to work up the courage to be simple, to read simple books, to wear simple clothes, to have simple days, and to say simple things. For a long time, all the glamour seems to lie with complexity. We're pulled towards rare and hard-to-follow ideas. We entertain our friends with elaborate meals. We pursue convoluted relationships. We have careers that enmesh us in cumbersome commitments. We fill our leisure hours with exotic hobbies. And then, at some point, we may sense and aspire to the real challenge of life. To dare to sound, to some, like an idiot, to fix on certain basic truths that we've always known, to edit down our calendars, to wear only what's comfortable, to put in front of others the same sort of basic foods we like when we're alone, to have relationships solely with those who know how to be direct, to leave our days more or less free, apart from one or two elementary pleasures like tending to a garden, having a bath or going for a walk to limit our reading to books we can understand, and to communicate without inhibition all those heartfelt and essential things we know to those we are close to, that they are everything to us and that we'll miss them immensely when it's all over. We worry so much about sounding boring or silly if we were to show ourselves without elaboration or live according to our own less adorned inclinations. We spend the major part of our lives trying, unsuccessfully, to be somebody else. It can be the thought of death that eventually loosens us from our pretensions. We realise, under its bracing influence, that there is no point burdening ourselves with habits, ideas, vocabularies, people and duties that don't belong to us. There's no point wasting time we can ill afford on those who can't non-defensively say, I love you with clothes that we can't keep clean, with books we can't understand, and with crowded days heavy with panic and meaningless challenges. We finally lose our terror of coming across as a simpleton and a yokel. We'll be properly mature, properly sophisticated even. We'll probably have had to go through a host of complications by the time we learn to appreciate the art of being direct, easy to follow, emotionally straightforward, predictable, unhurried, and, in the eyes of the frantic and the impressionable many, exceptionally dull.